Now, Jesus said this in Matthew 25 and verse 46, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Listen closely to what I'm about to say. I'm going to repeat it twice. The punishment is everlasting. The punishment is death. The punishing, what caused the death, is not everlasting. Let me repeat that. The punishment is everlasting. The punishment is death. The punishing, what caused the death, is not everlasting. Malachi 4 and verse 1. For behold, the days come that shall burn as an oven, and upon all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Let's skip on down to verse 3. And you shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. Ashes under the soles of your feet. We're talking about the total destruction and end of the wicked. You know, praise God for his truth. Praise God for his truth. There is nothing more powerful than God's truth. A lot of you have rejected God because you've been lied to about the Bible. You've been taught a false concept about God. And you see, when you believe a false concept about God, it keeps people from knowing God. If you believe that God is an unjust God, you'll never have anything to do with God if you don't understand that His justice and His love is, is rightly deserved and that justice is rightly deserved, but justice means the end of the wicked sinner. That is just to put them out of their misery. Now, I want to offer you something, a new Bible study entitled, This is Hell. It will go in through, I didn't have time to go through everything I wanted to go through, but it will talk about the real hell is the destruction of the earth's surface by fire. And then later, a new heaven and a new earth is going to be created. But this is that, that will be the real hell fire uh, that will eventually come about. It, another subject, worms that die not. Okay, are there immortal worms in hell? Okay, this Bible study will answer that question. Lazarus and the rich man. This one's been used over and over again to prove that there's, God will burn people for all eternity. This Bible study will answer that question. And it, it will answer the que final question that God is a God of love and true justice. I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? Sometimes learning more about God is simply unlearning what someone else has told you about God. So in order to develop a deeper relationship with God, you must unlearn what you have learned. Only about a third of the world's population claim to be Christian, and the numbers are falling. If Christianity is getting smaller, that can only mean hell is getting larger. Does this really mean that God will consign at least 60% of humanity to a never-ending burning hell when they die? Is this really the action of a just and merciful God? The common teaching of hell is really a mistaken tradition that has replaced what the Bible actually reveals about life, death, and God's plan of salvation. It has extinguished the real hope that God offers for everyone who has ever lived. There are simple biblical truths that open up new avenues of understanding about how God treats everyone with respect and justice. 60% of humanity is not going to be tormented forever in a burning hell fire. Order your free book entitled, If God So Loved the World, Why Are So Many People Going to Hell? Order by writing to Church of God Rocky Mount, 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. That's Church of God Rocky Mount, 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. Also, visit us on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.net. Also, you can contact us by email at minister at cogrm.com. That's minister at cogrm.com.